Hello and welcome back to the channel. Yes, today's video I'm going to look through Romantic Country The Third Tale. I finally got a copy. It became available again on Amazon. It wasn't cheap. It was like £28. So huh, that was my entire book allowance for the month for colouring books. So I'm not getting any more. Uh, but yes, I had to have it because I've got the other two. I'm not really collecting the rest of them because if they're not on Amazon UK, I'm not really bothered about buying them. So, but I wanted this one. Um, I could have ordered it ages ago from Etsy, but I didn't. But now I have. So, of course, it's all in Japanese, which is fine. So, then we've got um, the Co Cocot North, the South, Fisky Island, etc., etc. Chapter One, Peaceful Days in the North. So this is quite Christmassy looking, wintry, which is lovely. Now I have seen this particular bit be, be done, this side, this page. Yeah, look at this, look, look at all these Christmas trees. So obviously we've just had Christmas, so we won't be doing this side. And then we've got the nutcrackers here. And then this is more sort of autumn-y, because it looks like, um, it's hard to do these double sides ones. Um, but we'll just have a quick look at it. Inside a little house. I do love the paper in these though. These books, the paper's stunning. That looks so nice. So you still do wintry ones because it's still winter. You know, it's only January. I mean, in, where I am, they, they forecast snow up north, but I'm in Wales and we don't usually get snow until February or March, so. Then we've got Cheerful Life in the South, where I'm assuming it's going to be warmer. Very nice. They look happy. Oh, little pig's cute. <laughs> Crushing grapes. That would be a nice one to colour. And the little cart there on the other side. And then you, I love these ones where you get these, you've got paprika and corn, tomato, etc, uh, etc. Et so you could just colour them in the correct colours, which is always nice. And then you've got Manon's flowers. To my Valentine, that might be a nice one to do in February. And the next page is Merry Christmas. <laughs> so, yeah, I quite like that. That's very pretty with the uh, cutlery. So nice. Oh, there's books. I am still not recovered for covering, colouring in Romantic Country, book two, Henry's books. And that was like two or three years ago. I've still not recovered from it. That amount of books makes my eyes water now. I'm like, no. I love the carousel though. I might do the carousel one. And the Ferris one here with the Ferris wheel bit and the circus tent. That's really nice. I do love the carousel. I'll think about carousels. I love them. What's that? And then we've got beautiful scenes of the islands, which is quite nice. Sariska Island. So that's all wintry again. I just think it's so beautifully drawn. That is gorgeous. And this. Imagine doing that all different colours, be lovely. And what's on this side? Ah, oh, she's so talented. I think it's a he, she, it might be a he. They are so talented. <laughs> Spice and herbs, or herbs if you're American, or French actually. And that's quite a nice side. I'm not even going to try and pronounce the island names. Ben's fruit, I can pronounce Ben's fruit. Oh, I like this one with them fishing off the end of the dock. That's quite nice. And this one's nice as well. Oh. Good time for Eleanor and Josette. Oh, Blueberry, 29th June. That's my birthday, 29th June. Share it with the Misty from Country Gal. I like the ice cream one. Again, I've seen that one done as well. This one's nice. Welcome to cook up one way, then the tickets, and then the different prices. That's lovely. Nice cream van. <sighs> I do, I think it's lovely. 
They're so beautiful. I haven't had a romantic country book for ages. I love the ones with the duck. There's the duck. I've missed the duck. And the little baby carriage is so cute. Okay, table. Spring has come. I mean, this is, is just beautiful. I know you've all seen this book before, but I haven't even looked through it since I got it. All I did was take off the plastic cover. The Passage of Time in the Secret Forest. Ooh. Oh, see now, isn't that beautiful? That is such a gorgeous double page spread. And it is double page, really. You could say it's not, but it is because these, these carry on into here. Oh, I love it. I think that's just so beautiful. Oh, little bleeding your hearts. Mermaids. I love mermaids. Little cottage. I like that. That's really cool. Inside we've got oh, more books. See, I love books, but not colouring them. In them. I like colouring, but oh, shut up and. Nice witch one for Halloween. If you wanted to wait that long, trick or treat. It's a lovely Halloween page here with all the little pumpkins. Jennifer colours in Halloween look all year round, so. And a Christmas one, to be fair. You just colour whatever you want, doesn't matter. You're enjoying it, it doesn't matter what you're colouring when. It's nice to put do things seasonally, but if you fancy doing a Christmas page in the middle of May, do one. I did some St Patrick's ones this month because I was in a St Patrick's mood. These are such nice pictures. <gasps> Look at the giant teapot. Or is it a tiny, is it a normal size teapot? And they're like tiny people. And the cakes. Yeah, they're tiny people, aren't they? And that's the last one. And then you've got all the information, which is in Japanese. I can't read it. So and then you've got the thing to make at the back, the shops and things, which I won't bother. I'll just leave them in there. But that is Romantic Country, The Third Tale. I am so excited to be able to get hold of that. Basically, somebody mentioned it was back on Amazon on Facebook, so I jumped on it. <laughs> Facebook's terrible for enabling me. Um, and I'm not buying that much, as you know. So that is... Uh, so that if you want me to see colouring it on camera, let me know. And we'll see what we can do. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.